got a couple inches of snow last night, but now the temperature is going up. So now we have slush. Good morning. Good morning. I know it's cold and it's wet. And wet. Goats don't like water. Good morning, Calypso. See everybody standing on all the wasted straw. Hi, Ramona. Hi, Nemesis. Hi, big girls. And someone named Gabe got to stay home from school today. Gabe has coughing. a cold and he's coughing his head off. So he got to play hooky today. All right. You, well, yeah, today was supposed to be Christmas pajama day, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to get the barn chores done. And then I'll show you our project that we're going to do really quick, even though it's chilly out. And our project is working on building. Gabe, what are we building? You didn't tell me. Baby goat warmers. Yahoo! Woohoo! You might recognize this. This actually was a hay feeder out in the uh, goat paddock, but we actually wound up building the epic goat feeder that you can check the video out on that we made for the goats. So the holes are already there at the bottom, just small holes. Uh, I don't know that we will really need to enlarge them at this point uh, for the baby goats. So what this design is, is that the baby goats can go in through the holes without the mamas. So you don't have to worry about mamas accidentally laying on babies under heat lamps. I would prefer not to use heat lamps because of the fire risk. However, since we do kid in cold weather, we want to make sure that our babies have the best chance possible. So we'll put a little bit of bedding down here in the bottom. These have locking lids. Those are in the garage so I can cut holes in the top to fit the heat lamp over. Then the heat lamp will be secured to the lid. The lid will be locked onto the barrel. And then we will actually be clipping the heat lamp and the cord up onto our cattle panel um, areas on the top of the stall. And the final thing to make sure that, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me, okay. All right, and the final thing is, what I'm getting ready to do now is to secure the barrel because we don't want the goats to be rubbing on the barrel and then knocking this over and burning the barn down and losing animals and hay and everything else. So what we're gonna have is, couple of eye bolts that we're going to put into uh, the wall, a couple of bungee cords. I've got my drill so I can drill pilot holes to get the uh, eye bolts started. And we're going to go ahead and get that going and we'll show you. So just to get, get it my lovely assistant or handsome assistant, sorry, that's going to get them started. That's and Stop then, coughing. yeah, you'll be fine. So we're going to go ahead and get these eye <coughs> bolts done and we'll show you what, um, the finished product in just a minute. Okay. So, um, we decided to try doing bungees. You could also do a ratchet strap. I bought, I, I used, chose bungees that were just slightly small. So I had to stretch them out pretty well. So there's not a lot of give to them. So they're not going to go anywhere. And I feel confident that as long as my goats don't decide to chew through the bungee, we're okay. But I'll be inspecting them daily. So we should be fine. And we're going to head in here in a few minutes and um, start working on the lids and can no, show what? you those too. Okay, Christmas chaos is over. It's probably been a week since I made the beginning of this video. And now I'm going to finally get the lids to the heat lamps finished. So what I'm going to do first, is, or actually what I've already done, is I've marked out, using a drill bit, marked out the circumference of my heat lamp shade. So just your standard heat lamp shade into the lid of my barrel, okay? And then I've created an access hole to be able to get the blade to my jigsaw in. And now I'm going to go ahead and get that cut um, so that way I can put this on there. The other thing I'm going to do once I get this uh, cut out is I'm going to put small holes uh, with a drill bit 
um, just big enough to get zip ties through. So that way I can actually zip tie this onto it. Um, and that way it won't come off inside of uh, the goat stall. Uh, the babies and the mama doesn't accidentally, you know, bump anything and this wiggles off and it falls on the floor. And then we have a barn fire. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut up. Uh, I don't really have a good angle for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video. We'll be right back. All right, here we go. We've got the hole cut. I'm gonna place it on there and it sits right on those edges. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and swap out my battery and put a bit in my drill. And there'll be four holes. There's actually already some holes on the lamp and we're gonna use those to attach it here with zip ties. There's a zip tie, it comes through the light. And then we're gonna put it down through here and then I'll attach it. I'm just trimming off the excess from the zip ties. Okay, and then I just have to get the now light. We're using ones that are made specifically to work with heat lamps. This is a infrared. You can buy these at Tractor Supplies, most feed stores. Um, they might be a different brand. They're about five, six dollars a piece. And we're only gonna use these when they're super cold out anyway. Um, so they typically will last you at least one whole season, um, if not two seasons. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the bulb, take it out and show, uh, put everything together and show you what it looks like. So heading out to the barn, if I remember correctly, uh, it was pretty chilly out when Gabe and I were starting this project. It is 60 degrees out right now, guys. Um, it was almost, I think it was 65 on Christmas day. It's pretty crazy. Uh, so <laughs> I definitely don't need, if, if anybody was kidding today, I definitely would not need a heat lamp. That's for gosh darn sure. Um, so let's get this put together and show you guys. So let's play a game. When will she kid? Earliest due date is January the 4th. She's already lost her mucus plug. Obviously, she has a very full udder. She has no ligaments. Don't really feel like touching her because as you can see, she's quite gross right now. Vulva's very loose but not showing any signs of contractions, thankfully, seeing as how she's still got time left. But when does everybody think she will kid? If you look, she's dropped. Look how low that belly is. Gross. Leia, you're disgusting. coming out of this corner so I don't have to worry about mama goat knocking it over and I actually have a chain uh, a small length of chain that I will actually attach to the clip um, of the heat lamp and I will clip it up here so it is actually going to be secured three ways so let's go ahead and test it out okay there you have it. So the babies can go in here and this will be nice and warm. We'll put a little bit of straw for bedding down in there. And that is it. There is 
our baby goat warmer. So I need to get the other one fun done so it'll be ready to go. But, uh, I mean, I got really lucky. The barrels didn't cost me anything. I'm out, what, maybe $15? I don't know. These I, these definitely cost me under 20 bucks because, I mean, I have the heat lamps I already had. I did buy bulb, new bulbs. I already had bungee cords. I think the only other thing I actually bought besides the actual bulbs was the uh, eye bolts to attach it to the wall. So, if you had to buy everything, I think you'd be definitely under $30. Uh, the barrels are around $10.00. Um, probably about 10, 15, about 15 bucks. I think it is would be for the heat lamp, um, and the bulb. Uh, some of them, even if you get lucky, you'll find the, the heat lamp and the bulb together. Uh, and that's it. I mean, it's easy peasy, right? The other thing is, is you can use the premier one. Now I have a premier one heat lamp as well that I'll be putting on one of them. Uh, but it needs a little bit of repair. Uh, the cord, uh, there's a loose cord, uh, loose wire or something that's got a short. So we have to fix that and make sure it's going to be safe. And we'll be hanging it uh, in the garage, making sure that it's, it's, it's safe before we use it. But that's it, guys. Talk to you later.